Climate change activists and deniers have made polar bears the face of climate change campaigns for years. On the left, a picture of an emaciated polar bear has been used by climate change activists to show the impact of global warming, though the real reason for the bear's poor health is unknown. While graphs of a growing polar bear population have been used by climate change deniers to argue that the effects of global warming are exaggerated, although they're often missing some important context. Both images push agendas, and both are misleading. So let's dig into this tweet, for example, with three claims about polar bears. One, the polar bear population has been growing. Two, the population hasn't been this high in over 50 years. And three, polar bears are thriving where sea ice is diminishing. Are these claims true? Let's verify. Our sources are two professors of biological sciences that study polar bears, Dr. John Whiteman and Dr. Andrew DeRoche, Polar Bears International, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature's Polar Bear Specialist Group, and the World Wildlife Fund. Like the first two images, this tweet is misleading. Let's tackle the first two claims. One, it's true that the population hasn't been this high in over 50 years, but there's some important context missing. Back in the 1960s, polar bears were on the verge of extinction, but hunting regulations put in place in the 70s allowed the polar bear population to recover. And by the 90s, polar bears were absolutely a conservation success story. But the claim that the polar bear population is still growing is also missing context. Polar bears live in extreme conditions throughout the ocean and islands of five regions in the Arctic, Alaska, Canada, Russia, Greenland, and Norway. So it's hard for scientists to physically count the population. Scientists instead rely on estimates, mostly based on the health of the region's sea ice, the polar bear's natural habitat. 2016 estimates from the IUCN show there are approximately 26,000 polar bears across the globe. That's higher than the 20 to 25,000 polar bears the organization estimated in 2009. But according to the WWF, that change doesn't reflect an increase in the number of polar bears. Rather, the methods of estimating population size have gotten better. Based on that data, both DeRoche and Whiteman estimate that the global polar bear population is currently in a slight decline, or stable at best. Most populations have that were overharvested have already sort of plateaued at whatever level they're going to be at. Concern has now shifted to the depletion of sea ice, which scientists say is an imminent threat to the species. It's really a habitat loss issue, and that habitat loss is really uh, manifest through uh, climate change and uh, sea ice melting. Which brings us to the third claim, that polar bears are thriving where sea ice is diminishing, which is also misleading. According to Polar Bears International, globally we've lost on average 13% of sea ice per decade since 1978. In ice-dense regions of the Arctic, Whiteman says polar bears will temporarily benefit from improved habitat quality because melting ice can make it easier to hunt for food. So in the short term, there can be a transient increase. Maybe the fish numbers go up, maybe the seal numbers go up, and there's this increase where it becomes better habitat. But with the current rate of ice loss, in the next 33 years, Whiteman says, We know that if we lose the ice, we lose the bears. It is fundamentally as simple as that. So while we can verify that polar bear population is the highest it's been in 50 years, claims that the polar bear population is growing and even thriving in places are misleading. With your Verify, I'm Ariane Till.